how to install Udo in the server. So I'm using AWS server. So you can use any other server as well. Uh, the process will be similar. So first of all, I'm creating an instance here. So uh, I give the instance name as a Udo and I select Ubuntu and 20. Okay, which is free tire. So I'm going to use the free tire version. Okay, everything is looks fine to me. Okay, it's look fine to me and I'm going to click on launch instance. So if anything needed, then I will do it later on. So instance had been created successfully. So I'm going to click on instance. If you see uh, one instance is uh, pending here. So it will be activate a little bit uh, within a small amount of time. So after that, I will click on here. And after click on here, I will uh, uh, press on connect. So as it is being running, so it is taking some time to add the public IP. So after clicking on that, I can use uh, this one like click on connect. So it will open a new terminal. Okay. So it had opened the terminal for me. So uh, I'm going to use uh, ENT like this one to install Udo here. So I'm going to install Udo 15 for now. What I have to do, I have to copy this first. And if I go to the connector, I have to just paste it here and press enter. So it will download it. And now what I have to do, I have to go to the EM server again and I have to copy this. As I'm uh, installing Odo 15, you see I have selected Odo 15 here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to pin this instance again and paste it here. And the same way I'm going to come here and copy this and paste it here. So it will automatically install all the things I needed to install Odo 15 there. Okay, let's wait. Okay, as we can see, uh, Udo had been installed. Now, what I have to do, I have just to check that Udo is started or not. So it should start automatically. But if it is not, there is no problem. We can check that. So I'm going to check the status. Sorry. So as I can see that it is dead or inactive. So I have to restart it. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So it will be restarted automatically. Now what I have to do, I have to go to the instance <clears throat> and again, I would like to check the status. So it is active and running. So I'm going to uh, go back to the instance now. So uh, instance is running perfectly fine, but what we need to do, we have to add some, uh, just like we need to open some port to make it accessible. Okay, so I'm going to open the port. So I'm going to go to the security and there is a security group. I'm going to click on it. And there is some inbound rules. I have to edit it, okay. So in here, I'm going to add some inbound rules, which is custom TCP, it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to open 8069 port here and it will be for anywhere IPv4, that's it. And set the rules. So it will open the port 8069. Now what I have to do, I have to go to the EC2 again and check the public public IP. What is the public IP of my EC2, okay? So I'm going to open it and this is the public IP. So I'm going to copy this IP and open a new tab and put 8069 here. So it will surely open the database like Udo, you see, database has been opened. Now, what I have to do, I have to go to the here and to check the master password as the master password had been given here. So, basically, master password is this one is the master password. So, I'm going to copy this and create the database using that. Okay, database name is let's say 
something like Udo and there is email let's say admin password is let's say one and phone number I'm not gonna give demo that I, I don't want to give anything else okay maybe country as uh, Singapore okay Singapore okay that's it so I'm going to create the database say the password as well so it will automatically create the password I mean create the database for you so that's it actually so bye bye